Okay, so I realize this isn't what I normally do, but I've had this opinion in my head for a while now. So Roblox as a whole is better than every other game ever made. And yes, even your favorite one. Now, I realize this is the bold claim to make, but when even just comparing Roblox versions of games to their originals, it becomes so clear that Roblox just does everything better. I mean, is this like what DJ Khaled said? In life, you have Roblox. But obviously, comparing every game to its original would take a long time. So instead, I'm just going to look at the three biggest titles in gaming, in my opinion, and they attempt to show you just how much better the Roblox versions actually are. What the hell is this? Oh my god! <laughs> so, starting from the top of the list, the first game we will be looking at is... Minecraft. Now, I understand this is going to be a hard one to beat, as Minecraft means so much to so many people. Every time you click on that new world button, it just opens up a whole new unique adventure that you can go on solo or even play with your friends. There's a reason why this game is such a staple in gaming. Hell, for a lot of people, including myself, Minecraft was their first ever video game. So what could Roblox have to possibly beat such a world-known experience? Mining Simulator 2. Now, there's a lot of reasons why Mining Simulator is better than Minecraft. One reason being, Minecraft is too hard, and I can't beat it solo. But the one main reason why Mining Simulator was better, was it focused on the one thing everyone played Minecraft for. The mining. And no, don't give me that. People played Minecraft to explore, or to build cool shit, or, or to gear up and fight monsters. Because as we all probably know, those were just things added to artificially increase the playtime, and distract players from the one main goal of Minecraft, the mining. That's why it's called Minecraft. And this game fixed all of that by simply removing every other aspect of the game so you could just focus on mining. And it doesn't even stop there. The one thing I know we all hated about Minecraft was when we were mining and accidentally broke into a cave. After which, you'd have to go on a daring and dangerous adventure to explore the cave, for a chance of getting some good loot. Well, guess what? You don't have to worry about any of those annoying and time-wasting situations anymore. Because there are no caves in Mining Simulator. Meaning you can just strip mine forever. There is a lot more to this game that makes it better than Minecraft. Like new unique ores. And the addition of being able to sell your findings for money. money but I don't really want to bog the video down with all the small and unimportant details. So we're just going to skip to the next game. My second game isn't going to be really a singular game. Because they're all just kind of reskinned versions of the same game. And as you could probably guess by me saying that, I'm going to talk about FPS games. I mean, come on, you can't tell me that Valorant and CSGO are not just the same game. And it's the same story with PUBG, Apex, Fortnite, Osu. They're all just the same thing with no unique game mechanics whatsoever. So, what singular Roblox game do I think is better than all these copy-paste titles? Phantom Forces. Phantom Forces is the first FPS game ever to have added actual strategy instead of just being an aim game. I can't. In Phantom Forces, there are zones you have to control instead of just needing to be the last one standing. Another thing that Phantom, does, Phantom Forces does better is that it's a loadout game, meaning you don't have to worry about getting unlucky at RNG and not finding your guns or not having enough money to buy what you want. Now, to be honest, there also there isn't really much more to say about this game because at its core, it is just an FPS game. But I think just the small changes that it makes put it so far ahead of just the other copy paste garbage that's out there. The last game I'm going to talk about is Elden Ring. Now, this is a game that needs no introduction because unless you're a four year old who suddenly gained consciousness, you've heard of this game. It's a game that quite literally took the internet by storm, selling over 13 million copies in the first month of release. It will likely go down in history as one of the greatest games ever made. So how could anything Roblox have possibly beat that? No, people can in Elden Ring are not like the other games I've talked about already. Because Elden Ring doesn't get completely blown out of the water like the other games did. They're actually pretty close in quality because of how similar they are. And not just in their initial gameplay loops of creating different builds. They both have their own variants of magic, different weapons you can use for different whichever playstyle you like. And I mean, come on, look at this. You can roll. You can't tell me they're not alike. Just look at this. The only real reason why Deep Pokin is better is because of the combat system, or more specifically, the stamina bar. I think that we can all agree that running out of stamina in an intense fight is probably one of the worst feelings you can get in Elden Ring. 
is that this creates that awkward space where you just have to stand there and stare at the boss. The way Depot Kim did it better is by not having a stamina bar, and instead just putting cooldowns on rolls and jump attacks. But there had to be something to indicate the flow of battle, which is why Deep Oaken invented the posture system. Now the posture system works as simple. When an enemy attacks you, and you have your block up, the attacks will deal damage to your posture instead of your health. And you can block attacks until your posture bar fills up, in which case you'll get posture rolling. Oh, my bad, this is Sekiro. There we go, that's better. But when you parry an attack, your posture goes down and the enemy gains posture. But wait, why is this better than a stamina system you ask? It's because the stamina system forces you to back out of a fight or just stand there and do nothing. Well, you can still fight people while you have high posture. In most cases, it just means you play a little bit more defensively. The last thing I wanted to talk about are comparisons of the boss fights. And more specifically, how much better Deep Oaken's boss fights feel compared to Eldering's boss fights. I mean, yeah, Eldering boss fights visually beat Deep Oaken's because of fucking course they do. But in terms of how the combat feels and the boss music, Deep Oaken takes the cake. Like, tell me what fight looks more appealing to you. This? Or this. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got for this video, actually. I know it's a lot shorter than most of my other stuff, but this is my first attempt at like a full video essay type video, so it was never gonna be perfect. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Later.